In this video, we'll work through another example of a uniform motion problem. These are the kinds of problems that involve the equation distance equals rate times time. In this problem, we have a plane that normally travels from city A to city B, which is told to us to be 1,200 miles, at a speed of 300 miles per hour. But that one day, the plane encountered a headwind, and remember how this works, a headwind blows against the direction of travel of the plane, slowing the plane down. And that made the trip take an extra hour. And we want to know what the speed of the headwind was. And the way to think about this problem is that we've got two trips that we want to think about, both of which are going to involve distance equals rate times time. But there's the normal trip, where we have no wind, and then there's also the one on this day that we're talking about, where we had wind. So this day's trip had wind. On the normal trip, our distance equals rate times time. We're told that the distance is 1,200 miles. The rate is 300 miles per hour, and the time is unknown. But we can easily figure out the time by dividing both sides by 300. On the right-hand side, they divide out, and then we get t equals 4. And in this case, since we had miles divided by miles per hour, the units here are going to be hours. So now on this day, we're told that the trip took an extra hour. So if we're thinking about distance equaling rate times time, the time now is going to be 5. It normally took 4 hours, it took an extra hour, and so now it's going to take 5 hours. What's the rate now? Well, we know that we slowed down. We normally fly at 300 miles per hour, but we didn't go that quite that fast this time. We had the headwind blowing against us. So our rate is going to be 300 minus whatever that wind turned out to be. So it would be 300 minus w. And then the distance didn't change. The distance is still 1,200. So now this gives us an equation to solve. We get 1,200 equals, if we multiply out the right-hand side, 300 times 5 is 1,500, minus 5w. Let's add 5w to both sides, and subtract 1,200 from both sides, and that gives us 5w equals 300, or in other words, w equals 60. So 60, again, the units will be miles per hour. And that's our answer.